Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell you the truth about silver. Today is Sunday the 25th of August 2024. And last week we saw gold and silver prices rise, though not enormously, but quite a significant rise on Friday. With PCE data due out next week, we could see a further increase in precious metal prices. The US dollar has fallen a reasonable amount this past week and treasury yields following suit. So this coming week could be quite exciting for precious metals and especially following Jerome Powell, the chair of the Federal Reserve, being quite dovish on Friday at the Jackson Hole Symposium and very strongly suggesting rate cuts are coming very soon. So what's happened? What's going to happen? Well, let's take a look. Now, first, just a quick reminder, we've set up a second channel entitled Finances Do Matter, covering a whole array of financial topics. We've placed a link in the description box and comment section below for those who have not as yet joined that channel. Now, gold rose $4 last week, rising from $2,509 to 2513 having hit a high of 2532 and a low of 2471 a rise of just under 0.2% gold spread between high and low was a relatively uneventful $61 last weekend we said gold would trade between 2450 and 2550 which it did comfortably in sterling terms, though, gold fell £37, closing at £1,903. And in euros, gold fell €30, Euros, closing at €2,247. Euros. Silver rose 81 cents, rising from $29.03 to $29.84. Having been as high as $30.08, so just breaching that $30 mark, and as low as 28.76, a rise of 2.8%. The difference between its high and low, $1.32. Last weekend, we predicted silver would trade between 28 and $31. Again, it did this comfortably. In sterling terms, silver was up 15 pence at £22.62. And in euros, it closed up 0.33 euros at 26.71 euros. Gold to silver ratio fell two points from 86.4 to 1 to 84.2 to 1. This is now the second week where roughly two points lower gold to silver ratios have been achieved. Bitcoin currently stands up $5,000 at $64,151. Most of the gain, the result of what Fed Chair Jerome Powell said on Friday. Equities were higher, with most gains again achieved on Friday. Dow Jones closed up 516 points at 41,175. The S&P 500 closed up 80 at 5,634. The Nasdaq Composite closed up 246 at 17,877. And the good old FTSE up 16 points at 8,327. Oil prices were lower. Brent crude closed at $79.02, down 66 cents, where WTI crude actually fell $1.82 at $74.83. The dollar index was also down 1.74 points on the week, so quite a big fall at 100.72. It may have slightly further to fall soon. Now, last weekend, we stated... However, the expectations of this coming week's Fed minutes on Wednesday and Friday's speech by Jerome Powell at the Jackson Hole retreat has invigorated traders into believing that a rate cut for September is assured and they are hoping for more dovish tones coming out of the Fed. Well, Powell did not disappoint. Gold prices surged on Friday following his pivotal speech at Jackson Hole Symposium with the precious metal gaining 1% and closing the week up. Powell's remarks hinted strongly at an imminent interest rate cut, 
potentially as soon as September, driving a retreat in both US dollar and Treasury yields. Traders are now pricing in a 67.5% chance of a 25 basis point rate cut in September, with a 32.5% probability of a more aggressive 50 basis point reduction. Now we can see a 25 basis point being on the cards. Have to admit 50 does seem a little ambitious and optimistic. We are more likely to see Fed Chair Jerome Powell reduce rates more often at a lower rate than one big lump. But we shall see what happens over the next week or two. Now, one must not get too carried away, as we're all aware of past trends of buy the rumour, sell the result. However, there is little doubt that the market is expecting further gold price rises as the dollar weakens and the opportunity cost of holding gold diminishes as interest rates fall. Silver also benefited from Powell's speech, but we must not forget that it's also an industrial metal, the demand for which affects its price. Now, we have some interesting data coming out to the US this week, with Friday being crucial. Monday, we have durable goods orders for July. Tuesday, consumer confidence figures for August. Thursday, weekly jobless claims. And the second revision for the second quarter GDP. But Friday we have personal income and the all important PCE inflation data for July. Now analysts are expecting year over year PCE rates to hold firm at two and a half percent and the year over year core PCE rate to actually tick up slightly from 2.6 to 2.7 percent. Any improvement on these figures will undoubtedly boost precious metal prices. So, once again, we are expecting some further strength in precious metals over the next couple of weeks. Though, in view of the US dollar fall by two points, one would have expected perhaps a larger rise this past week than we obtained. Who knows, perhaps on Monday it may make up even further ground. Now, we mustn't forget geopolitical tensions and what's going on there, though there are a lot of ceasefire talks going on, and one never knows there is still the potential of matters improving, which as a result, of course, would mean that the, shall we say, fear premium will come out of precious metals. But equally, if they worsen, then we'll see a further jolt upwards. So we are remaining quite positive. And this week we envisage, therefore, that gold will trade between $2,475 and $2,575. And if the inflation data is good, then we could see the upper limit extend to $2,600. If it's bad, then the lower limit to extend slightly to $2,450. Silver? We're expecting $29 to $31, with $28.75 to $31.75 as outliers. Now, what do you think is going to happen? We'd appreciate it, please, if you would share your thoughts. Meanwhile, thank you so much for listening. We'd appreciate it if you would give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, press the bell sign, pop on over to Finances Do Matter, and... All that remains is that, as always, we have a wonderful weekend, a safe weekend, and a prosperous, a very prosperous, hopefully, week ahead.